Yeah, our final homage to Beethoven, finally, in celebrating his 20, 251st birthday, is uh, the overture to the consecration of the house. And this is a piece that I'm very fond of. It opens with a couple of really demanding and bombastic chords. And then there's a slow, very slow, uh, solemn march that would be typical of an overture by Bach or Handel, so inspired by that. And there's a trumpet call. The trumpet begins to, to uh, wake up, wake up people. And then there's sort of a little bit of crowd noise that you'll hear in the music. It's a little bit busier rhythmically and whatnot. And then it finally starts with a wonderful double fugue. A few being, you have one voice, then another voice, they come in at different times. And the word fugue in Italian means to fight. So there's a conflict. In this case, yes, they fight at certain times, but all ends up happy. And at the very end, you have this wonderful tri triumphant uh, celebration of music. My favorite piece on this concert set is the Tchaikovsky Piano Concerto. It is a very large work, it's a grand work, um, and it actually is played around the world so often. And in this most recent Olympics, it served as the official anthem for the Russian Olympic committees. It begins so boldly with a section of horns playing a melody, and then the piano in glorious form with this fantastic melody. It's a work that has this melody that is so memorable from the beginning, and then it's used as sort of fodder for the rest of the work, uh, but we don't hear it back in that glorious form since the beginning, so that's a, a kind of striking element of it. But this is a work that brings together all the virtuosity you expect from a piano concerto, and then all that romanticism and glorious melody that we expect from Tchaikovsky. Jesse Montgomery's Starburst is a work for string orchestra that is just constantly in motion. It's very short, fits very well on the program because it's so energetic and so fresh. It's a, a contemporary style. And it's because it's always in motion, uh, it really drives the audience forward and things don't remain the same all the time. It's constantly evolving. And that's where that idea of starburst, which is looking at the way stars are constantly moving in, in a galaxy that change things so quickly. And so the music reflects that idea. My favorite piece from this concert set is definitely pictures at an exhibition. I love how you can hear in the playing and in the writing, the pictures that are described. Also, as um, a high school student, I figured out I wanted to go forward in music, and it's because our band did a transcription of this piece, and so this piece has a long-standing meaning for me. So there are a couple of bassoon features in pictures at an exhibition, and my favorite to play is actually towards the beginning of the piece uh, in the Old Castle. It's a duet with the alto saxophone. And I think that's just so neat because the alto saxophone is rarely played in the orchestra setting. You know, when you actually get to perform these important works, um, and it doesn't matter how many times you've done it, quite frankly, they're all, they're all special. Um, anytime that I see pictures at an exhibition is on a season, I mean, I instinctively go, yes. You know, I just look forward to that that moment. Um, and again, because we're, we're featured so prominently in the piece, um, it's just, it's a challenge, but it's one that I think we all embrace. <laughs>